Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating the vendor records to indicate the agencies for whom you are collecting sales taxes, you can then create the actual sales tax rates within the QuickBooks item list. You can open the item list by selecting Lists and then choosing Item List from the menu bar. Within the item list window, you must create a separate sales tax item for each sales tax that you must report, not necessarily for each sales tax you collect. This is because in states that collect both a state and county sales tax, some of those states want you to report state sales tax and county sales tax as separate items, while other states want you to report them as one item. To create a sales tax item within the item list, you simply click the item button in the lower left corner of the item list, and then select the new command from the pop-up menu that appears to open the new item window. The first thing you do is select the sales tax item from the type drop-down at the top of the window that's displayed immediately upon opening the new item window. Then click into the Sales Tax Name field and type a name for the sales tax item. You can then enter a description into the Description field. Note that if this sales tax item is the only sales tax collected within customer forms, then you will want to enter the sales tax description as you want it to appear within your customer sales forms into the description field. Then enter the sales tax rate as a percentage into the tax rate percent field. Then use the tax agency vendor that you collect for drop down to select the name of the vendor to whom you will submit the payments of this sales tax that is collected. When you are finished creating the sales tax item, click the OK button to save the item into the item list. If needed, you can then repeat this process until you have created all of the individual sales tax rates that you must report that are required for your company file. If you collect and pay more than one sales tax for multiple taxing authority, such as a state sales tax and a city sales tax, you can now create a sales tax group within the item list so that customers will see one cumulative sales tax amount on their invoices and sales receipts. In the next lesson, you will learn how to create a sales tax group item within the item list to collect multiple sales taxes for multiple taxing authorities and display it as a single line item within your sales forms. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free